Well, we're with the guys at Gleason, Gleason Works today here uh, up in Rochester, New York. And we're measuring multiple machines here. They're all the same machine, the same frame, but we've got repeated measures to do or multiple pieces to measure. So I've got Polyworks open today with a laser tracker. And what I wanted to show you guys today is how you can do repeated measures or multiple pieces in the same workspace. Okay, so come on into Polyworks here a second and notice what I've got. I've measured, actually I've measured all of them already, but what I want to show you guys is how to increase or make another, another project uh, or another piece in this, in this project. So notice what I've got here is all my stuff. Everything I've measured is in here now. I've made, uh, made my, my uh, model tree here. Everything is in there, everything's populated. And I've also done my screenshots. Notice down here all of my items have a screenshot Got some pretty sweet things that have showed up in these screenshots. So I think all that stuff is exactly how I'd like it to be. And then I finalize a report. So notice everything in my report is all good there. And I've walked that through with my client. And that seems to be exactly what they're looking for. So what I'd like to do is go through here and I'd like to measure the rest of these pieces or to show you guys if you were going to do repeated measures and measure multiples. Super, super simple. All you do is right in the model tree here up in in this, this, um, this area, this little icon here called New Piece. Okay, and again, don't do this until you've got your model tree totally complete. Everything's measured the way you want to and your report is totally formatted. So let's punch on this new piece. And yep, of course, I'd like to do a save. It's gonna ask you that if you've done any changes. So I'll do a quick save a second. This might take us a minute or two. And notice what comes up. This New Piece dialog box comes up here next. Then what I'd like to do is change the name. Uh, well, you give it any, t any name you guys want. It, it will auto increase in its number to the next piece number. But we have got all of these, um, all of these frames named individually um, based on serial numbers. So I'm just gonna say, hey, this is the new piece. So give it that new name. Notice the date and timestamp always comes through. That's automatic the email address and the device I'm using comes through automatically because I've already, I've already populated that up here in the piece properties. So that comes through there. And then notice down here, this options, I've got this launch play inspection. It's defaulted to be checked. So when that happens, it's gonna walk you through the model tree step by step and make you go through each one of these measurements again. So you can turn that on or off, I'm gonna deselect it. Uh, but be sure to watch the video where I go through a launched play inspection routine because it is very cool. So if I hit create, notice what happens. It's going to take it just a second. And Polyworks will go out and it will blank out all of the measured data from each of the criteria in the features column. So we'll give it a second to do that. Boom. Okay, now notice I have got just blank data. All of that data is still there in my model tree, but notice it's only the nominal data, it's not the measured data with it. So then I can jump into my measurement session and I can highlight any one of these features, right click and do my probe measured. And just as if I was starting this routine again. But this is a cool way of doing new pieces in repeated measures. And also be sure uh, to watch the video that we're going to put out here that's going to go through the SPC data on repeated measures. And uh, just how cool Polyworks can do multiple pieces in a quick sort of way. So. Hang tight for those videos too.